uh, filming. I kind of do all the ridiculous things that I bragged about gonna do when I was eight years old. A friend of mine pointed that out a while back. He says, you're the only person I know who's doing all that stuff he said he'd do when he was eight. And I, I told him, I said, you're absolutely right, and I'm kind of upset by that, because if I'd picked five-year-old me to make that choice, then I'd have been an astronaut and a president and a firefighter by now. I need a bigger shop. Yep. So my name's Sean Thorson. This is my little workshop we call Thorson & Associates Workshop, TNA for short. I make set pieces for promotional use, for advertising companies, for video game companies. I make costumes, props, and then of course there's always any number of odd things that come in through the door any given day. I did a life-size replica of ED-209, the bad guy robot from the original Robocop movie. It's just been something I've wanted ever since I was a little kid. You know, as soon as you see the thing walking around in the movie, it's like, oh my God, wow, I must have this. Nobody makes it. Well, I can make it. There's no reason why not. It's impressive. It looks like it probably weighs 20 tons. I like showing off. <laughs> well, here I'm actually showing off a bunch of Halloween costumes and similar projects that I've put together over the past few years. And for the most part, of course, the star of the show is all of my Spartan costumes that you'll see walking around here at the fair and in the booth. My shop is located just outside of Petaluma, California. It's formerly a chicken barn. So starting off, once you walk into the shop, the first thing I've got is a bunch of finished or almost finished things that just needed to be put out of the way. We do everything, sculpting, we do sewing, we do leather work, we do 3D printing, we do CNC carving, molding, casting, painting, all of it. Right now we're gearing up for Comic-Con, so we've got a bunch of pieces that are vacuum formed that are being assembled and rigged. This whole thing started as a hobby and kind of got out of control. After I left uh, active duty with the Navy, I started sailing with the Merchant Marine, uh, which was great because you've got the whole Bilbo Baggins feeling, I'm going on an adventure. And then after that week runs out, it's basically Monday every day, and then I'd have nothing but free time for months and months on end. So I'd get home from being out at sea and get bored, and each year I'd spend more time and a little bit more money and make slightly more elaborate things. It was easier for me to start doing all the stuff everybody was asking me to do for a living instead. This armor is all essentially vacuum formed for the most part. They're reasonably durable. It's the same way they did the Stormtroopers for the original Star Wars. It's, you know, it's, it's really cheap, quick, inexpensive stuff. I start off with pieces of just fiberboard, but once those parts are reassembled, you end up with something like this guy here. That gets sealed up and then smoothed out. You'll have a thing that's ready to mold. Every once in a while, someone will ask me, how much does it cost to make a costume? If someone's looking for me to make a cape with tights and underwear on the outside, I can probably put something together for a few hundred dollars. You know, as soon as you start talking about some 10-foot tall mech suit with digigrade feet and wings and flames and whatever, I can rapidly get into six figures. A lot of your, like, garage and hobby type prop and costume makers end up doing vac forming, and it's usually some really sketchy homemade equipment, like this. This is the oven. Under this piece of wood is the what's called forming platen. Turns out this will actually build up quite a lot of pressure when the vacuum is on. And one day in particular, we ended up imploding. It sounded like a gunshot. It was the coolest thing ever. First thing that I did that was you know kind of on the level of projects that I'm doing now for Halloween, I wanted to be a stormtrooper from the Star Wars trilogy. Went out to you know catch up with all of my buddies, and it was this really weird transformative thing. Like when you walk out into a crowd wearing this you know thing that looks like you just stepped out of a movie screen, you get this sort of instant celebrity status. And I was hooked. Like everybody wanted to pose for pictures. People were shouting stupid movie quotes at me all night. As time went by, pictures start getting around online. People start saying, "Hey, I saw this thing that you made. Is it possible you could make one for me too?" Before too long, people start asking me to make things that I haven't made yet. And that is the making of armor. My grandfather, for the longest time, he'd start asking me, when are you going back out to sea? Finally, I have to explain to him, like, when it turns out I'd enjoy my life more doing that. Publishing a book and getting featured in a bunch of different websites and all these different things, it's finally at the point where he thinks I'm being taken seriously. My prop and costume shop is the coolest thing I've ever made. <laughs>